Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with a concoction video. We are going to try making, and when I say we, I mean me, uh, some gelatin sugar cookies. I don't really remember what I called them, but I found the recipe online and I put it on my blog and I'm going to follow that recipe somewhat. I am making a couple of changes. And I need a sugar cookie mix. I got the Great Value brand. I do not remember how much it cost. And it said four different colors of gelatin, but I couldn't get yellow. And I thought maybe my mother would have a lemon here, but she doesn't. So we're doing just three colors. Should have got blue. I need an egg, I think. Just one, and I needed a stick of butter, half a cup of butter, and I had forgotten to take it out of the fridge, so I cut it up, and now it is quite soft. I wanted to soften it quickly. I'm going to insert a picture here that's going to show you what these cookies are supposed to look like. I will also link to the recipe down below in the description box in case you want to go check it out. All right, let's get started. It says to put the cookie mix, one egg, and the butter into a bowl and either mix by hand or with a beater. I'm mixing by hand. And did I say a cup of butter? I don't remember what I said and I haven't edited yet. <laughs> one stick of butter. It's a half a cup of butter. And you do want butter, not margarine. I mean, you can use margarine, but it's never as good as butter. Okay, that really did soften up quick. It's 70 degrees today, and I do not like. I'm going to put just a little bit and mash this up a little. And the rest. And I know I said beater, not mixer. I just always call it a beater, like an egg beater. Okay, this is getting there. Quite the workout. I'm glad it's somewhat dry because I was thinking that it would be very wet with all that butter. Okay, let me go look at the next step. Okay, I am supposed to separate this into four balls, but I'm doing just three balls. And uh, it'll just mean that um, they're not getting quite as much gelatin as they would if I was separating into four balls. I just washed my hands very, very good. I'm big on washing hands. And I don't have bowls because <laughs> I'm not equipped. So I'm going to use a couple of these plastic containers and then this bowl. I'm sure I don't need to have them that big, but I do need to knead in the gelatin. And I just don't want to be like spilling. All right, so let me see here what we got. Whoopsie, I'm already spilling. Let me just see if that looks like one. Yeah, that's probably right. Two. I'm making noise. And three. And now I'm going to put a half a package of a gelatin in each. And then we have to have the rest to roll the balls in. I don't know if I'm going to need half to roll balls in, so I'm going to try to do like a little bit more than half. Whoa. To me, it seems like it would be kind of sour. It says to knead it with my hands, but <laughs> I was going to try doing it this way. No, I'm going to have to do this with my hands and have pink hands. My God, that smells 
so strong. I don't know about this. That should be good enough, I think. We're going to be rolling it in jello after anyway. Gelatin. I know it's not jello brand. Okay, so now I have to go wash my hands again. Next color! I'm gonna do green, which is lime. And I got strawberry for the red. Okay, about half, a little bit more than half. Woo! Jello dust. Oh, that's pretty. See, the only reason I liked this recipe is because the, you know, it looked pastel. Remember the love Jello? So maybe she'll like the flavor of these. But boy, to me, it's like they're gonna be sour. I don't know if she'll like that if they're sour flavored. I'm the world's worst kneader. So this is a little time consuming, but the kids would have fun with this. They could all knead their own color. Okay, next color. And I have the oven preheated at 375, like it said. Sad that I don't have yellow. All right, a little more than half. I'm making such a mess. I almost think I'd rather just have this out on a on a board. At least it's not sticking to my hands, not with all this sugar. I'm ready to enter a cookie dough kneading contest. Not, well, I can enter, come in last place. Pretty good. Washing hands, reading the next step. It says to roll each dough into five balls, but they had it separated into four, so that's about 20 balls. So maybe seven each. This one looks like it has way more than the other two. But let's just start with that. I don't know, I don't know if I want them too big. That looks awfully big to me. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm, maybe I'll need to make eight of this one. And then I need the orange in here. Okay, and it says to put parchment paper, but I don't have parchment paper. So I'm just going to put it directly on the cookie sheet. Usually it says ungreased. So let's just roll this in here. We have one. I might have to do two batches. This is going to take longer than I thought. How come it doesn't want to completely get covered. There's going to be a lot of jello left. I'll have to make some jello out of that. Mix the three together. This is a fun one for kids though. Um, you know, you don't have to roll dough out and have them cut. You just make cookie balls. If Skylar feels like making these, if they come out good, and it depends, <laughs> it depends on what I feel like when I'm there, then we can make them in Memphis. I'm trying to fit 10. Boy, this is already number eight on just the orange. Nine. And 10. I don't know. Let me try to get between the legs of the tripod. I have a feeling these are going to touch each other because I have just a very small cookie sheet. We're going to give it a try. I don't remember what it said. Let me go look. It said 12 minutes and I am going to check it a little bit before that. 
It has been 12 minutes, and my balls are still ball shape. <laughs> They're not flat at all. So I'm cooking them a little bit longer, as I always do, which means they will end up being overcooked. All right, I ended up cooking them for 15 minutes, which I think is way too long. And it says to let cool completely but I don't want them to continue cooking. I hate making cookies. Did I ever mention that? I've never been a fan at making cookies, except to when I was a teenager, I invented the pizza cookie. I swear I did. <laughs> I didn't like doing individuals, so I took a pizza pan, trying to show you with my hands, and uh, I just put all the batter, just pushed it all down, and about halfway through the cooking time of whatever it said, I would take the pan and hit it really hard on the counter and make it all like flatten out. <laughs> then I would cook it for the rest of the time, and it was so fucking good. It was delicious, and I used to call it pizza cookies. And then one day that became like a popular thing. They took my idea. I'm sure I didn't invent it, but that's how I used to make cookies. Okay, let me get a spatula. I'm kind of glad that they didn't um, flatten more than that. Maybe they'll still be chewy, but I'm not gonna know because I don't want to taste these. Wow, this is gonna make a lot of cookies. I'm gonna wash this and we're going to start ooh, round number two. We are working on red, and I bagged the dough so it wouldn't get hard. And I dumped the leftover orange in here, and I'm going to add the other leftovers to here. And I will be making my mother some jello with the leftovers. Oh, red. Wow, a lot left over. Let's start rolling. Now, I don't know if I should try a little smaller. I kind of like the size of these, and uh, maybe I can do this size again, but maybe, let's see, I said 12, I did 15, maybe 14 minutes, we'll try that, okay, maybe a little bit smaller, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing, but they didn't stick to the pan. Oh my god, way, way too much jello. So I did 10, I'll do 10 again. They don't look anything like the picture. I mean, nothing at all. And the others are very pastel, and mine don't look that pastel y. <laughs> it looks like a, I don't know, a hot mess. I'm still going to put just 10 on the pan. Oops, that wasn't rolled that good. Whoa, I'm so messy. Getting bigger. I'm getting carried away. Three more to go. I think I'm going to have a little bit of the red left over, too. I could make a multi-color cookie at the end. I mean, you could always just save this for another batch. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Going in the oven. I'm going to try 14 minutes. I have to clean up. Okay, these are still quite warm, and I gave one to my mother, and she says they're, they're overcooked for her. The bottom is crispy, but she said the center is still a little bit soft, but she says it'll get harder. So definitely they're overcooked, but again, they look nothing like the picture, nothing. What I don't get is the recipe says to roll into five balls, four different colors. That's only 20 cookies total. Are they gigantic? I mean, I've already made, there was 10 plus 10 more in the oven. That's 20 right there, and I have all this left. And I was making pretty big balls, I think. So I don't know. But it's still a very good cookie recipe for kids. I think that they would have a lot of fun making this stuff. 
I was going to wait 14 minutes, but I'm taking them out at 12, and I'm going to let them sit there for a little bit on the hot cookie sheet. I used great value, and I thought maybe that's a different uh, size bag than the Betty Crocker, because it was originally a Betty Crocker recipe, but it's the same, 17 ounces or 17.5, and so um, it's not a matter of me having too much mix. Why am I so anxious to to do this? Let me see. Oh, that's better on that side. <laughs> I'm like a kid with no patience. I don't know if I should take them off or just let them continue here. I'm taking them off because I want to. They're definitely softer. I could let those cool a little bit and stick my finger in one. And if it's too soft, then what did I do? 12 and I did 15. I could do 13 and a half. <laughs> my mother also doesn't like uh, like a really doughy cookie. It has to be cooked, but she doesn't want it like crispy. At least this batch flattened out a little bit more. I don't know. But it's not pastel color at all. It's very dark. It would be good Christmas cookies, especially when I make the green ones. All right, these guys are hard as a rock. Center and everything. I think the red ones will be better. But what you can do with a hard cookie is you put it like in a cookie jar or any jar with a slice of bread and they get very soft and moist. The bread gets hard, but you give that to the squirrels. I told my mother that I think the second batch is better, and she said she can have these with tea. <laughs> Look at the bottoms. Dark. Not dark. What the hell's that piece of shit on there? <laughs> They're, what the hell? Each one of them has a piece of shit on it. They seem to darken up a little bit as they're cooling. Let's see. Is there shit? <gasps> shitless. Oh my god. It smells like a cotton candy factory in here. That's exactly what it smells like. We are on the last batch. The green batch. And then we will uh, see what we're going to do with the little leftovers. I don't know if there'll be room for them this time around or not. I guess we're going to stick to the same size-ish. This one's drier. Wants to break up a little bit. And I'm just going to do 12 minutes again. I put these in one of my mother's orange slice containers because I don't want them to get really dried out in the air. The others are still in a bag. They're being punished. Oh my god, so much mess. The red, the strawberry, smells the strongest. This feels like dried out Play-Doh. There will be a lot of fast-forwarding in this video. <laughs> See, this one is, is drying up, but I don't want to add any water or anything to it. I just want to get it over with. What a lot of work. And it's not even for me to eat. I'd rather be making meatballs. But my kind of meatballs is just meat. I'm going to be able to finish. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. One more green ball, and then I'm going to shove a couple other, the red and green, uh, I mean red and orange. I'm going to make it fit. I'm so glad comments are not on. So many of you would be telling me what I did wrong or what I should be doing. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't save orange and red uh, sugar. It's all mixed up together. Let's just do these in green. And this is a big guy. I don't know. He might take an extra minute to cook. I never want to smell jello again. A bunch of oddballs. 12 minutes, maybe 13 for Mr. Big Ball. So this is what I did wrong this time. I put them in the oven and completely forgot to set the timer. <laughs> when I remembered, I had to guess and try to estimate how long they had been cooking. So I don't know. I think these red ones, now that they're fully cooled, are still, you know, they're softer. They certainly are. But, you know, they could have been a little bit less, so I don't know. Maybe maybe I got it right with this one. I don't know. <gasps> see, these are very soft. I don't think they're cooked. <laughs> I hate making cookies. I hate it. I'm just going to leave them on this. The big guy, the big orange. I don't know about him either. I'm still going to just leave them, and I'm going to let them cool. And I've been editing, and the picture, even though they're flat, they are kind of this color, like the red ones and the green, I guess. My orange ones just don't look too orangey. You know, that's, I don't know, especially the ones that are overcooked, because on the bottom they look brown. I don't know. Another thing I can do with these is I make my mother little parfaits with, like, um pudding and different layers like some uh, cherry pie filling and I and whipped cream and I make layers and I, I take like whatever she has cake or a donut and I crumble that and I make layers of crumble so I can make layers of crumble with this and it softens up in the parfait. I'm gonna let these cool. These almost look a little overcooked. I certainly would not do more than 12 minutes. This guy is already getting hard. I'm telling you, I suck at cookies. I just suck at it. Now I'm going to see if I can put them in here. I'm so glad I'm trying these now. I will not be making these with Skylar. I'm not even going to mention it to her. I'm I almost did text her and tell her I was doing this and that we could do it together. I'm so glad I did not send that text. I seriously was like, I should not send this text because I don't know. So what did we end up with? Uh, 10, 20, 30, I think 31 cookies. And um, this is what they look like. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to take a couple out to take some pictures. So, um, not thrilled with this because it was a lot of work and I failed at a batch. You know, nothing is wasted, but my mother's going to have a lot of cookies to eat. <laughs> I will be freezing them. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I should at least have this open right for my goodbye so you can see this loveliness. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back with more soon. Bye!